Hey guys, Don from Decorative Landscape Borders here. I uh, just wanted to bring you another tool review. This time uh, we're doing the Agatech Smart Rod. It basically is a laser grade rod and it kind of combines a regular grade rod and a laser target all into one and it helps do a little math for you as well. So the rod itself has a laser receiver up here at the top. It's a fairly wide space so it picks up a beam pretty easy. You get all your digital readouts in here on this display. It displays in metric, feet and inches, and in tenths. The base drops out and adds three feet to the bottom so you can get a nice working height. So right now we're sitting about six feet high. It's got a um, small little bubble vial here in the center to help keep, make sure you're got the rod up straight when you're measuring with it. And then it's got expandable rods here that you can reach out. You can be able to see all of this. With the base all extended, I think it's got 13 feet of travel. So if you're down inside of a ditch or a foundation or something like that, yes, it's got a pretty good range of motion in it. And the way this thing works is there's a laser inside the rod itself that measures up here to the target. And the receiver receives a signal from your, from your rotary laser. And then the laser inside the unit measures up to where that signal was received at. And it does calculations for you. And it puts them all down here in this display window. So it eliminates math errors and it makes surveying a site by yourself really easy. One thing it doesn't do that a regular grade rod will do is you can't set grades with it. Meaning if I want to set this grade here, I've got my laser set up over there so we're on grade. And if I want to carry that grade with me or if I want to deduct say six inches we're going to dig out a foundation for a retaining wall we need to take off six inches i can just move this up six inches go find my new spot and when i get on grade i would be there with the smart rod there's no way to do that it's not dynamic it, it takes a shot only when you press the button so you Eventually you could get there, but you'd have to make your adjustment, take a shot, make your adjustment, take a shot, and it wouldn't be very convenient as far as setting a grade and digging down to get to grade and you're there. So that's one thing it doesn't do is you can't really set grades with it very good. But surveying is a snap, and I'm gonna kind of go through a couple spots here. So we have a rotary laser set up over here on the hill. It's a David White. And the way this thing works, if I want to take a shot of that laser, I just raise the first section up until I get a shot and I'm at 4.18. So that'll show up on that camera there. Anytime you want to take a shot, that's literally all you do. You hit the power button, move it up until you get your coming to laser range and it gives you a readout and it gives you two beeps telling that you're that you're there. So another feature it has is it will do cuts and fills and it'll do the math for you so once you had established your first shot which was our 4.18 now and, he's, and if I hit the set button it'll move me into the cut and fill mode now wherever I take shots instead of giving me a readout of what the elevation is it'll tell me the difference between my 4.18 and my new shot and tell me whether it's a fill or it's a cut so as an example if I come over here shows there that that's going to be a fill of 0.14. So I'm just going to go around the yard now. We'll change, change camera directions a little bit, take a bunch of shots, and uh, you'll see how quick you can survey. And our laser sitting there. Got our smart rod sitting here. We're going to take our first shot. Raise the target up. And there's our first elevation at 4.48. So record that on your plans. So we're going to move another 20 feet away, get the set button, and 
5.69, so target's way up there. Now if we wanted to do the cut and fill section, our last number of 5.69 would be our benchmark. If you're really doing this for reals, you'd go start with a real benchmark, but you set it, and now any measurement we take after this is going to deduct from that 5.69. So we're about another 10 feet farther away from that last shot. And now it shows a fill of 0.45, which is the difference from our last shot. If I take the set button off, it'll show me what that measurement was, and it just does the math for you. All right, so I wanted to show you the kind of range this thing has. That's our laser up there on the hill. Just measure this off with our wheel. We're at 354 feet. I've got the uh, lower base extended out. So it's got pretty good range on it too. So this is the, the smart rod itself. It's a little more close up of it. It comes with a nice padded case. The rod itself is uh, feels pretty durable. It's all made out of aluminum. It's got some armor coatings around here so if it falls over it doesn't doesn't hit your receiver that's the receiver itself it's probably six inches of space there to pick up a beam so that's it that's our quick demo and review of this thing um, it was 500 bucks I think 489 we bought it at Tiger Direct online um, I've seen them as high as seven or eight hundred dollars so if you shop around you can you can you can find a deal on them um, they're really handy and quick for doing surveying. Um, back to the cost, you know, a, a good grade rod is 150, 200 bucks. A laser receiver is another three or 400 bucks. So you're right at the same price. Plus you have the ability to switch from metric to tenths to inches, which is nice because I have multiple grade rods of tenths and inches. Um, so when you kind of add it up, it's about, it's about a wash. The simplicity of it's really nice. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. I think we'll use it a lot and uh, hopefully it's helpful. And uh, good luck to you. Thanks.